buys asbestos ridden World Trade Center six months before 9-11. Collects 4.5 billion after his Israeli friends blow it up. Volumes of sale computed to a year earlier percent basis. Now what I want you to look at here is look at 2008, 2009. The crash was 2008 and then it kept on going to 2009. Uh, we came into a little worry around 2012. 2018 took a quite a dip but look at that, look at that. It's down and it's going down. We are in a recession. <clears throat> I have a secret. I need to confess, you may need to sit down for this. I have never watched Game of Thrones, not one episode. If we are being taught how to grow our own food, how to take care of ourselves and how our families and our families uh, and how to live without the need up for huge governments, banks and corporations as our ancestors once did, then we aren't being educated. We're being indoctrinated to de be dependent on subv subservient to the system. Conspiracy theorists, a person that researches a subject and then uses logic and critical thinking, skills to form an educated opinion, instead of just blindly believing whatever they saw on TV. A friendly reminder, this is Woody Allen and his future wife. You want more of that sort of stuff? Lacy bras for men are a thing and they come with what with that what with matching knickers. It's just a, they really are taking the piss out of us. Oh MacDonald had a farm G M G M O Yorkshire paedophile sexually abused eight-year-old girl after being speared prison sentence for child porn. A dangerous paedophile who has was speared prison sentence for re possessing child porn images went on to carry out a serious sex offence against an eight-year-old girl. Well, the judge should be responsible for that and he should go to jail. Simon Smith repeatedly abused the youngster while he was on the subject of a court order which banned him from having unsupervised contact with children. Fracking stopped after largest ever earthquake recorded at Blackpool site. But let's not forget, fracking didn't cause it because fracking's safe and good and yeah, all that usual propaganda bullshit they put out. A tremor with a magnitude of 1.55 has been detected at the Preston New Road fracking site near Blackpool, Lancashire. It is the largest tremor ever recorded at the site and shook the ground yesterday evening. The previous strongest quake was 1.5 at Little Plumpton and anything above 0.5 means fracking must stop at, so that tests can be carried out. Quadrilla, the firm behind the site, said that the tremor would not have been felt by most people and said it was the equivalent of a large bag of shopping. So Quadrilla are downplaying it when it shouldn't be, it's not downplay stuff at all. <clears throat> DWP U-turns after telling universal credit claimants they can work as strippers. That's, that's basically telling you what they think of our kids. They think strippers. That's all they're good for. Universal Credit Chiefs have made a humiliating U-turn after telling benefit claimants they could work as strippers. A government webpage listed dancers and adult entertainment uh, establishment as one option for job seekers with no formal academic skills. The Department of Depopulation titled Would You... What work, could, work you could do suggested claimants uh, could search the phrase 
striptease artists online to find vac vacancies. The career was included as part of a list of elementary service occupations for people of un on universal credit. Other job suggestions on the same page include becoming a fortune teller or loading a bingo machine. The Mirror has was able to browse the page on Tuesday, but it was since been taken offline hours after concerns were raised on an online welfare forum. <clears throat> the end of council housing. In 1979, 42% of Britons lived in council homes. Today, that figure is just under 8%. Now, by scra scrapping sec secure tenancies and bringing in pay-to-stay scheme, the government's new housing bill could mark the end of a, a, a century-old dream. We had two rooms for five of us. There was a kitchen area and a living room. Was our, uh, our bedroom as well. We had a sofa bed and we all shared it and the an outdoor toilet and a tin bath they boiled the kettle and we all had to get in pat freeman 55 is sitting in the front room of her three bedroom council house near old street tube station central london keeping one eye on her three-year-old grandson and recalling the very different place where she spent the first five years of her life a scrapped flat near angel north london which her family finally moved out of 50 years ago, not long after her father had left them. Convicted rapist allowed into UK facing jail for nightclub sex attack. Now, if that was in Spain, they'd be deported and banned. But our worthless useless bunch of wankers in parliament don't give a shit in fact they want the chaos so they can bring in their new world order a convic convicted sex attacker who moved to the uk after serving two prison terms for jail could be jailed again for raping a woman he met at a nightclub Vasil Natasa, 49, was jailed twice in the home country of Romania for similar attacks on women he preyed on at late at night discos Bolton Crown Court heard Natas was sentenced to six years behind bars in 93 and a further 10 years in 2009 well he should have still been in prison then for raping women he met on nights out despite his criminal history Nataz was legally able to move to England in 2018 to find work which he did in a warehouse and factories the Lancashire Telegraph reports but Judge Graham Smith was told that within months of entering the UK he raped a woman he met on a night in, out in Manchester, Greater Manchester Natas dragged her victim, his victim, to the, his home in Lee in the early hours of 18 November. The court heard Professor Vanessa Thompson said the the woman, 41, had been out with friends for a relative's birthday when she met Natas at around 3:40 a.m. at the East this 1899 nightclub in Railway Lee. The court was shown CCTV of the rapist with his arms around this victim on the dance floor before the pier kissed. They left together two hours later and walked towards Natas' home half a mile away. Miss Thompson said during the course, course of this walk, she began to feel very uneasy about the situation and believed that she was not safe. She tried to distance herself from him, but to no avail. Brazilian Ironwood or leopard tree found to reduce joint pain. Natural news. The Brazilian ironwood, known natively as juca or pau ferra, is grown in the northern northeast region of Brazil where it is commonly used as a treatment for illness such as diarrhea and cough. Studies suggest that ironwood leaves contain anti-inflammatory properties. Ironwood leaves reduce joint inflammation. Links in description if you want to read the rest. Barbaric owner fed pet bulldog poisoned sausage and stabbed it to death because it become had become aggressive after giving birth to puppies what does geez some should just not be allowed animals leela hoffer ho, ho, horvath and her boyfriend norbert frakes were found guilty of inflicting gruesome violence on the dog luna birkenhead england in what the, could be described as an 
act of sheer brutality, a woman and her partner confessed to court to a court of, on feeding the American bulldog sausage poisoned with antifreeze before stabbing her to death. Lil Lilia Hoverth and her boyfriend Norbert Franks have been found guilty of inflicting gruesome violence on the dog, Luna, who had recently given birth to a litter of 12. And so she's protecting her babies and these two thick bastards. I have a prog progressive muscle wasting disease, so how can the DWP just justify this reducing my benefit when I'm not going to get better? Jason Skin Cotton says the way that he's been treated by the DWP has mentally destroyed him. DWP all need sacking, every single one of them. Every single friggin' one of them. Jason Skin Cotton tw was 23 when he was diagnosed with an inherent neurological disorder that affects her, her, the peripheral nerves. People with Charcot-Marie Char tooth disease type 1A, CMT1A, experience weakness and wasting of the muscles and the lower legs beginning in adolescence and later at heart, hand weakness and sensory loss. It, it progresses, albeit slowly, and according to one study, patients have significant decline at a, at a faster rate on an average when they hit 50. Now 47, Jason's condition has deteriorated so that he now needs calipers to walk and he is now fighting off needing a wheelchair yet he's had to take on the dw department of work this department of depopulation to try uh, uh, to tribunal to fight to keep his employment and support allowance csa and his personal independence permit pip has been reduced leaving him on 100 a month worse off how can the department for depopulation justify reducing my disability benefits when i'm not going to get better he told i I know I'm far from an isolated case and there are many others in a similar situation where they have progressive or terminal illnesses that are not going to get better yet they have they are having their benefits taken off them or cut it's an abuse of the human rights I would agree to that it absolutely is how colloidal silver combats harmful organisms in the body 2,000 years ago, the Greeks and Romans used silver containers to hold their and protect pressure, pressure, perishable liquids against harmful organisms. Silver containers were used until the invention of refrigeration to protect food liquids such as milk from spoiling. Using silver in the medical setting came into practice about 100 years and 50 years ago as a means to protect the, bo the body against infection. It remained popular against harmful or, uh, organisms until the advent of antibiotics. What is colloidal silver? Colloidal silver is a pre uh, preparation of silver particles in a pure solution. When properly produced, these microscopic silver particles carry a positively ionic charge that makes them effectively against harmful organisms. Colloidal silver produces the high voltage technology in the most bioavailable and sal safest form of silver. Silver products made that with low voltage means are lower quality and can be ineffective and even contribute to agera if consumed in excess. This is why it is so crucial to seek out a highly qualified quality colloidal silver or make your own supplement produced with high voltage technology from the purest silver and distilled water available. How is silver harmful to harmful organisms? When positively, silver, positively charged silver ions uh, encounter harmful aerobo, aerobic organisms like single cell bacteria and fun, uh, fungus, it, be, it binds to the cell wall. The silver ions absorb the organism and once inside, they disrupt the cellular function of, and neutralize the organism. The complete med, uh, mechanism of the action remains to be determined. Silver appears to disrupt energy production within the cell of the bacteria. Additionally, silver may oxidize organisms, disrupt cellular reproduction and affect the enzymes in the, in the environment in a way that makes it impossible for harmful organisms to thrive. And because they're positively charged, you see, the viruses, bacteria and fungi are negatively charged, so they attract to each other and the silver kills it. Parents of vaccine-injured children speak out 
the guilt is huge. Although, of course, it's the pharmaceutical companies that should be guilty, not the parents, although the parents should have done a bit of research. Susan Lawson and her daughter, Julia, photo courtesy of Susan Lawson. When Susan Lawson of Colorado hears parents declaring unequivocally that everyone should vaccinate their children because it's perfectly safe, she feels it say, says it's like, like a punch in the gut. That's because she's seen the other side of the story. Her daughter, Julia now nine was left with permanent brain damage an injury acknowledged by federal court payout after receiving her mmr vac uh mumps measles mumps rubella vaccine uh, varsilla shot when she was a year old um why you should and shouldn't worry about measles lawson tells yahoo parenting that one morning about a week after julius received the shot he her, her now ex-husband found the daughter in a terrifying state she was blue and cold and her body was ach arched her eyes were like, like looking in opposite directions and she had was covered in feces and vomit she recalls we thought she was dead she was rushed to hospital where doctors said she was having seizures and she was put into a medically induced coma. Julia spent many days in intensive care and the neurology ward before being sent home with a diagnosis of encephalitis or swelling of the brain caused by vaccines. Let's not forget that caused by vaccines. Pedo Andrew put on suicide watch. It's probably a comical one book, you know. But if it was, then you'd expect him to die shortly, wouldn't you? The royal family has announced that Prince Andrew has been placed on suicide watch after, amid fears that he doesn't give a shit. The under pressure prince may be a war, about to do something that would bring the peerless name of the family into disrepute. Under direct orders from the Queen, the royal's favourite son will be kept on watch until such a time as he no longer possesses a risk to himself or his immediate family on uh, or their reputations <clears throat> the westminster trial abuse cover-up how much did mps know claims that the establishment covered up the paedophile ring at the heart of westminster dolphin square there as you can see where uh, ken clark used to take the kids from nottingham to rape and bugger and whatever finally be being investigated declares decades after rumors first surfaced michael white who was a parliamentary reporter at the time asked veteran politician who why no one wanted to believe the worst another day another set of shocking headlines about allegations of historical child abuse and high level cover-ups this time a dossier being handed over by the metropolitan police themselves to the independent police complaints commission to examine 14 allegations of scotland yard's own complicity in the alleged cover-up of a high-level paedophile ring. Two weeks ago, it emerged that former MP Harvey Proctor's Grace and Favour home in Belvoir Castle had been raided by police investigating historic allegations of child abuse. Facebook asks users if paedophiles should be able to ask kids for sexual pictures. I think that tells you all you need to know about shit book. San Francisco, Facebook is under fire for asking users whether the paedophile should be able to uh, pr pr proposition underage girls for sexually explicit photos of their gi giant social network. The survey is the latest in a series of missteps by the Silicon Valley company which has been criticised for allowing content that exploits children Vi uh, from violence on its live streaming service to hate speech to diverse if messages sent by Russian operatives trying to yeah it had to be Russian didn't it of course it did to the mid middle uh, medal in the US presidential election bullshit toxic content flowing through its platform has highlighted security of Facebook Facebook scrapped the survey that posed questions about teens being groomed by older men after it was spotted by media outlets in the United Kingdom. It now says the survey app could have been better designed. The company routinely uses surveys to get feedback from the social network. More than 2 billion users. More recently, Facebook has been relying on a user survey to take the pulse of everything from the fake news epidemic to the, whether Facebook makes the, them happy as uh, people have stopped spend, s spending much, as much time there. But the two questions in Sunday's survey shocked and angered Facebook users. So in actual effect, we um, 
shouldn't be on that shit bug. And they, those that run it should be locked, locked up in jail. And um, coming back to that, what I showed you earlier about the, the, the graph, retail sentiment, sentiment sees sharpest fall since finals, financial crisis, CBI. Retailers expect the sharpest deterioration in business conditions since February 2009 in the coming months, according to the latest quality distribution trade surveys. Whilst retail sales volume are, or, uh, and orders fell off at the, the fastest since December 2008 in the year to August, so sales were only slightly be below av uh, average for, for the time of year, of year and the latest well, it's, it's too difficult to read, but it links in description if you want to think. The Guardian. Macron tells Johnson, Irish backstop is indispensable. Prince's foot massage at Epstein apartment. He got more than a foot massage. The dirty, filthy paedophile. Grand Designs, McLeod faces property nightmare. Telegraph. Johnson demands fresh border plans. PM orders main ministers to... Turbocharged search for new Irish solutions as Macron says withdrawal agreement can be amended. But I thought it couldn't. It's just lies, smoke and mirrors, usual shit. Aye, Johnson encounters French resistance. <laughs> President Macron says backstop is indispensable to a Brexit deal as the host Prime Minister in Paris. Downing Street seeks alternative plan for Irish border as France backs Merkel on 30 day deadline. How about we just give Ireland back to the Irish and leave them sort it out themselves? That's the simplest route. Corbyn pledges to block carnage on no deal Brexit. Corbyn's a traitor. Opposition leaders and rebel Tories will meet next week. Friends, they're, they're one why they celebrate 25 years. Top, uh, top grades at GCSEs. NHS orders hospital food from Pru Leith. Fracking halted after Lancashire, uh, tremor in Lancashire. Half your garden can help tackle climate change. Oh, bullshit. Casual ageism belongs in the last century. Metro. Says possible. Macron, I'm very confident we can break the Brexit deadlock because they've already agreed what they're going to do behind closed doors where they laugh and joke and say, I can't believe the public are still falling for this. But until the men and women of this planet wake up, they'll continue to get away with it. Express. William and Kate, 73 budget flight. Bullshit. Wonder what Meghan and Harry think of that. 900,000 war heroes to lose free TV license. Our PM can rightly feel buoyant after winning over hardline Macron in EU talks. Brexit victory salute. Because they all work together. Mirror. Holly on Phil to replace Jeremy Kyle. After happy pri Harry private jet route, Wills and Kate, 73 holes flight, Prince piles pressure on both brother by taking budget trip to Scotland with family. This scum. Prince William and family budget fly after buff private jet storm. Wills gives Harry flying lesson. The fail. Wills and Kate. Yeah. Two health breakthroughs. Four in one pill that slashes heart risk. Com combination of aspirin, statins and blood pressure drugs could stop thousands dying or kill us all. And proves going to war on hospital food. The Times. Girls close gender gap in science and tech. Exam results hailed as the high profile campaign. New hope for Johnson as Macron says deal possible. Prisoners cut violence. Rivers you used as sewers. White race victim. Amazon wildfire row. Hundred billion dollar listing battle. Sunderland sale talks. Waste of paper. Get set for a scorcher. Army kids. Love our flax, dirty little secret, and it's truly horrifying. Cass Corrie snub. So that really is an utter waste of paper. FT. Brazil jungle blaze spreads. EU plans crack down on use of facial recognition in public areas. Companies face fresh pressure to shut, shift away from shareholder first manta. And almost finally. They say milk gives strength to our body. That's right, bro. 
I drank 10 glasses and still couldn't move a wall. Then I had eight shots of vodka and saw the wall move by itself. When you see it, you'll see it. It's not hard, but you will see it and you will piss yourself. Someone has got a right good sense of humour and that dickhead don't know about it. This morning I saw a neighbour talking to her cat. It was obvious that she thought her cat understood her. I came to my house and told my dog. We laughed a lot. <laughs> Please, Ma, does Honey has legs? No, why do you ask? Every night I always hear my daddy say, Honey, open your legs.